Okay, first video. Here we go, I guess. Today, I just wanted to get out of the house. I'm gonna go to an appointment. Like, have a, have a fun day for myself. Sometimes I like to go to the mall and like window shop, so I might take you window shopping. Just gonna get my hair ready. Probably gonna do a low bun or a low ponytail. And then we will get on out of here. So if you do wrinkle, who cares? Because we're humans and women age and it's like, do what you want, you know? But I love this stuff. And then we got some moisturizer because I can't look like a reptile. So. I love a good moisturizer. Makes me feel like I'm doing something right with my life. so good okay now it's time for hair I'll have to do another video about this in more detail um, but I love to do a slick back look on days that like my hair is just dirty or I just don't want to really try super hard and it still looks really nice it's a great look it's my go-to maybe I'll do actually just a ponytail let's do a ponytail Making game time decisions. I still like to do like the brush back thing, which this is gonna look horrible. This thing looks disgusting, but it's a pedicure brush that I found at like the dollar section at Target. You can find anything similar, just as long as it has like a bunch of the little like bristles, um, you'll be just fine. I'm gonna brush it all back. It's really like so simple. And then I'm just gonna put it in a Put it in a ponytail. I don't have very much hair, so I like to use these like little elastics. And I try to find the ones that are not gonna like break my hair. And these like are pretty solid. They like don't um, rip out my hair when it comes out. Um, I think that's gonna be it. There's the look. Now let's get out of here so we're not late for our appointment. We're driving. We're hauling booty to the to the appointment. We're headed to my sugaring appointment. If you don't know what that is, um, it's just a different method of hair removal. Um, I won't be like bringing y'all in there with me, sorry. But um, it is my preferred method of getting all the hair off. Um, Cause I'm trying to look like a Megan Mulrat. I prefer sugaring over waxing any day. I used to wax like ever since I was in high school. Sugaring is just so much better on my skin. And if you remove hair, I totally recommend you try it at least once. Um, it's just a better alternative in my opinion. You don't like have as many like ingrown hairs. Your skin isn't as irritated from like the wax and like the hot like molten lava they put on your body that it feels like some days. But I just prefer it. And it's been better for my skin overall. They only use like four ingredients. It's like literally honey, water, sugar, and um, lemon. And it's just been better for my skin. So I think everybody should try it. But anyways, we're pulling up to it. Gotta be looking right to go out of town, you know? Like I go out of town next week. I'm so excited. We are going to Disney World and 
and I just couldn't be more pumped. I'm ready to be back in the parks. Haven't been back in the actual park since January. I've been back to like the Disney World area and the hotels and stuff like for the last couple months, but it's just time. We are here. I will see you on the flip side. We did it. Now it's time for some coffee. Cause I need some coffee. This is back in what can I get for you? Hi, can I please get a um, medium iced coffee with cream and sugar and one pump of mocha? Thank you so much. Coffee has been acquired. We'll see how it tastes here in a second. I don't know about you guys, but I'm like a color person. Like if I look at my coffee color, sometimes I can tell if it's gonna be like any good. I don't know. Maybe that's just me, but let's see. Not, not the best, but not the worst. Need more cream. In unrelated news, y'all ever wake up with a song stuck in your head? Because I did, and it's not a good one. I was lucky enough to wake up this morning with the song Sneaker Night by Vanessa Ann Hudgens stuck in my noggin. So that's great. I need it out, and I need it out of here now. Next up, we're going to the mall. I wanna hit up Ulta. Um, I have a gift card and then maybe swing through H&M kind of look around check out what's the what's the sitch over there all right well um, I was about to show you what I grabbed for my nails I do like the dip stuff looks like that but they ran out of what I need I needed more base coat so she's gonna order it for me this is the brand color dip red carpet it's definitely a learning curve it took me like six tries but now I really like how my nails look and I save literally so much money. I always make fun of my husband whenever I see her because he has a celebrity crush on her. It's your girlfriend, babe. Also, Elf, if you're looking for like cheaper um, like makeup tools and stuff, their brushes are honestly really good and they're pretty like cost effective. It's like, what, seven bucks for like these big old brushes. Yeah, it's worth it. I don't wear a lot of makeup, but these palettes are so cute. I know they look a little bit janky right now, but I love them. They're like, what, 18 bucks for one. They're not too bad when it comes to like nice looking makeup. I really like ColourPop. We did it. Success. Went ahead and got a little tiny travel size of this. It's my favorite matte um, lipstick. It's such a nice shade. It's like that classic red. And then I decided to grab this for fun. I haven't used Frank Body in a long time. Just like a body scrub. And it looks to be nice. Go ahead and exfoliate the bod. So, all right, well, next up, let's hop into H&M and see what we find. You know when you're like about to go out of town and you kind of want to find some cute clothes for your trip? And I just want to see if I can find anything fun to wear um, at Disney World. So, we'll see. I'll show you if I find anything. Okay, I for sure thought that said floors and panties, so yeah. All this color. Why does this show up when summer's literally out the door? Anybody need scrunchies? Mega on sale. So many scrunchies. Pretty sure this tote is like $5. And it's nice. It's like a canvas, like thick, thick material. Someone go get it, cause she cute. Is it too much to ask for a dang skirt around here? Y'all, how are you guys? We're here. I grabbed a whole couple things. I, 
I've learned that I don't love a lot of the selection like in-store H&M. Like H&M online is 10,000 times better. But we're just gonna try some stuff on. We're just gonna have fun because it's the weekend and oh, why the heck not. All right, we got look number one. Also, don't judge me any shape with it, so deal with it. This top's kind of cute. It's, yeah, it's cute. It's like eight bucks, so if you're digging it, you should go get it. I found this little number in clearance. It's kind of fun. Isn't that, I, I kind of like it. It's like 12 bucks. It's got a drawstring situation here. Pockets, polka dots. I don't know. I'm kind of digging it. It's fun. I feel like it could be a really good situation for the parks. We got the pockets. It feels like it's like a very fun, like sporty material. The polka dots are just so fun. All right, here's what we've got next. Dang. My husband's watching this. I'm sure he's just having a blast right now. They're cute. Like I said out there, I feel like I literally could barely find one skirt in like the whole store. So this is what we landed on. I think it's cute. I would have to put like shorts underneath this whole situation because she's feeling cute. I was nervous this was going to be like very like low rise, but like it literally sits above my belly button. I feel really comfy. This is just a whole thing, but I think it's kind of fun. I'm trying to have more fun with my clothes. So, okay, we switched the top. I'm kind of digging it, honestly. It's got like a ribbed texture, high neck with the thin straps. I tucked it in because it's kind of long like it can be worn long or kind of like bunched up a little more casual i do wish it was cropped because everything i wear is basically cropped but i don't know i'm kind of feeling it okay i'm not taking this but i grabbed it mostly to show you this is a pretty awesome jacket so someone should buy it i don't know if you're h m has a sale on these but this is like 16 bucks and it's normally like 40 bucks and fall and winter is upon us so you should grab it it's a little too oversized for me but she is cute someone go get her she deserves to be homed all right we're out of h&m hair is up because it's just that time Man, Chick fil A just really hits. I usually get a number one regular Chick fil A sandwich, no pickles, and I add American cheese. You should try it, it's really good. And of course, you gotta have my ranch. I think that's enough mall for today. Um, I feel like I saw everything I wanted to see. I feel like at this time, everything is transitioning over to fall. Like as much as I want fall to get here already, I need the stores not to transition to fall so fast because how the heck is your girl supposed to literally wear clothes at Disney World? I'm going to Florida for crying out loud. Like, I need y'all to just like hang on just a little longer, okay? I grabbed the um, polka dot shorts that I tried on earlier and the black skirt because those are pieces I can literally match with like everything and they're going to be nice and like, you know, comfortable for really hot August Florida weather. Ah, uh, so that was that. What do we want to do next? I'm like, what else do I want to do? It's decided. 
I decided it's not a shopping day or a browsing day without a visit to the old faithful Mrs. TJ Maxx. Gotta pay a visit to our girl. Of course, the first thing to literally catch my eye. Oh my lordy lordy. Cute. Cute. This is fun, you guys. It's almost that time. Look at all the fall decor. Wow. Wow. Um, excuse me. What is the meaning of this? What? Oh my god. I don't know what it's doing in the clearance section because they're very clearly not clearance. <laughs> like, guys. I'm definitely grabbing these and trying them on. They literally look exactly like um, Doc Martens. And I've always wanted black and white ones. What do we think? Holy cow, you guys, this thing is huge. 30 by 30, 50 bucks. Good price. If you see this at your TJ Maxx, I think you should definitely run and grab it. Found this. I'm gonna try it. It's a bodysuit, white. It's like nice stretchy material. I'll check it out. Yeah. Yeah. And it's like on final clearance for like $9. I literally love it. I can wear it casually with like shorts and sneakers. Or you could wear it with like a skirt and like dress it up so that you can go out. This is coming home with me. We did it. Good work team. I am literally so glad I went into TJ Maxx because that was such a win. The lookalike Doc Martens for $30. Those things are normally way more than that. I cannot tell you off the top of my head, but I know they're way more expensive than 30. Um, these look just like it. Um, they are super comfortable. I'm not gonna have to break them in. Like they are ready to go. Um, but yeah, so TJ Maxx was a win. I also grabbed the um, bodysuit, the white one that went home with me as well. Um, and now we are at Kroger. I don't know if you could see behind this car, but we're at my grocery store. We're just going to make things simple for dinner tonight. I'm just going to grab like a rotisserie chicken if they've got it. But I have some leftover rice, might pop some veggies in the oven, keeping it really simple. I'm literally prepping for one tonight. So, um, yeah, when Daniel's out of town, I just really like to keep things like really chill and get comfy and cozy like we're gonna turn on a movie turn on a show if you guys have any suggestions for future because i would love to know what everybody's watching some things that you're recommending because i'm like so caught up on a lot of my stuff um i'm just always down for suggestions so let me know um leave it in the comments or whatever and um i'd love to check it out so to kroger we go target acquired yes we got the chicken. We're on our way home. Also, I'll have you know, because I'll always keep it real. Uh, didn't realize till up until like, what, 20 minutes ago? That um, after the whole day, yours truly had um, too sheer of a dress situation. And um, my undergarments were like for sure showing through my dress like the whole day. So if you saw me around town today and you happened to see your girl's drawers just peeking through the dress she was rocking, no, you didn't. Slash, mind your business. You just really can't win them all, you know? Life will really, really humble you some days. We are home. I was stuck in some traffic, not fun, but we're home. And I've been craving an adrenal cocktail all day, so that's what we're gonna do. We got our ice, and 
we got these three babies that I'm gonna use. Organic um, cold pressed orange juice. Literally the only ingredients are organic orange juice. Um, pineapple juice, only ingredient, 100% juice, no added sugars, no concentrate, no nothing. And then organic coconut water. Got about this much orange juice in there. I'm gonna add some of the pineapple juice. Now it's time for some of the coconut water. Topping it off. Okay, most important part, I've been adding in um, my new like favorites uh, from Crucial 4, the brand. I do their Icelandic salt, like the chunky salt, and I do like a tiny pinch of their um, mag bicarb, which is like their magnesium hydroxide. It says it helps with like adrenal support, hydration, immune support, allergy support. I'm like, I need all the help I can get. I love this stuff and I've been using it in all my drinks and this salt in like my food and everything too. It's really, really good. So we're gonna take a pinch of both, a pinch of salt, sprinkle it in there, pinch of the magnesium, um, magnesium hydroxide. It literally looks like some very questionable powder. I'm just literally gonna take the straw and shake it all up. All right. That is so good. It is exactly what I needed. It's the best. I love it. P.S. I'm doing a giveaway. Keep an eye out for that. More details to come. But my friends over at Crucial 4 are giving away um, a little baggie of the mag bicarb. And I'm going to personally give away a bag of the salt because this stuff is so good. I am sold for life. So just keep your eyes peeled for that. Got our food. Got a beverage. Now we're going to find something to watch on TV. I was looking through Disney Plus and this popped up. I haven't seen this yet. Um, Light and Magic, how the Wizards of Industrial Light and Magic changed movie making one iconic effect at a time. Let me know in the comments if you've seen this before. This is pretty cool. I think I'm gonna give it a try. And then who knows, I might turn on like a DCOM after this because the world is my oyster, you know? It's the weekend and we're just gonna get cozy and um, comfy on the couch. But anyways, today was a really fun day and I have never in my life spoken so much into my phone. So um, thanks for watching if you've watched through and I'm excited to bring you some more fun content. Just kind of take you through um, my days, show you some of my favorite things as far as like Disney goes or beauty or you name it it's just gonna kind of be a hodgepodge of everything and i love that so um go ahead and do the youtubey things if you want to subscribe awesome i would greatly appreciate it anyhow thanks so much for hanging out with me today it's been real it's been swell goodbye for now and i will see you real soon